Hi guys, welcome back to another Red Dog Gaming video where today we are looking at another Napoleon Total War online battle. This one was an absolute corker. It went right down to the wire as usual with most of these battles. It was fantastic. We are fighting on Salamanca province as you can see and I am the French and my opponent Dave is the British. Now me and Dave had had a couple of battles before this. One he'd won, one I'd won. Uh, and this is kind of the decider, and it comes right down to the wire. Now, let's look at the armies. Firstly, I have four units of Chasseurs, four units of Fusiliers de Line, Fusiliers of Line, two units of the Majestic Young Guard, and one unit of the Fantastic Old Guard over here. My artillery options were two units of six inch howitzers, fantastic artillery units, and four units of the Chasseur à cheval. A really, really decent, cheap cavalry option, and we are led by Marshal Soult. Now, on the British side, he had five units of the standard foot, were two units of the King's German Legion foot, uh, light foot, Three uh, units of the light foot, so five lights overall. Uh, that's all his foot over there. He's led by a standard general, just a standard general over here. And he has three cool elite units. He has the foot guards, fantastic unit. He has the cold stream guards. Look at these guys. Look at them majestically walking through the woods over here in Spain. And this is the 88th Connaught Rangers. A decent, decent foot unit. And as you can see, he had this tactic of kind of splitting up his army straight away. And my tactic initially was to just go in and take the town and see what happens and react to him. But at this point, I could see, you know, he has an elite army up here. But it's time to isolate them and destroy them unless he can get some support across quickly. He also has one unit of these beautiful lifeguards and one unit of the light dragoons. He has his cannons already set up and firing. And this is on a battle map, Salamanca province, where genuinely this battle could have happened. French versus British in the Peninsula War in Spain. Look at those cannons. Let's watch them fire through the trees. I don't know how they can see, but boom, straight through. And as you can see, I am heavily, heavily moving all my troops across to this side. Moving them as quick as I can to try and take advantage of this situation as early as possible. As the howitzer shots rain down upon the enemy. Fantastic. Napoleon Man is just so beautiful. It's just so amazing. It's absolutely excellent. Whoa, look at that shot there on the chasseur. Taking out ten of those boys. Fantastic shot by his artillery there. We are bringing up some of our light infantry. And this is the cool thing about this map. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies. Little cubby holes that you can stick your troops into. Places where they can't see to shoot. But those are the opening salvo. Goes off there. Shooting straight into that King's German Legion foot. Look at that go. Look at them go. A lot of shots missing over here, but that's because of the terrain. So we brought these guys forward, ready to shoot. As you can see, we've got our Fusiliers of the line in the action as well. So he's kind of overextended his light infantry here. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at that. Fantastic. So as I've seen that, I knew we could push. We could push forward. We have overwhelming numbers on this side. And he kind of realizes this and is like, oh shit, I need to bring more troops across to this side. So as you can see, he's moving the rest of his army across to try and do some decent damage. I don't know what this foot is doing. I think he might have just forgotten about it. But I guess it's just there to... Uh, uh, there for reserves later on. It might prove crucial. But as you can see, I brought this young guard up from here. I thought the old guard and the young guard here are enough to hold them off and give us time to destroy this army. 
So he brings his life, uh, his uh, King's German Legion light foot into the house. So I thought, might as well bring my young guards in there and do some damage. But as you can see, his lifeguards charge us. And we really, like... The young guards don't get in the building. And I was telling them constantly. I was pressing on this building. Telling them, get into the building. And they would not do so. They were just stood here, look. Probably because they were engaged in melee. Which is unfortunate because these lifeguards are a very strong, very decent unit. As you can see... Fast and furious on this right-hand side. I've brought three of my units of cavalry up. I think I've left one behind down here. Yeah, to protect the cannons. And yeah, this cannon gets in on the action. Marshal Sult is coming up himself as well. As you can see, my young guard are taking a hammering here, which is really unfortunate. But he manages to get his lifeguards away. They have taken a lot of damage. But they can still do a lot of damage themselves. Because these are very elite units. This is the 88th Connaught Rangers. This is just a standard foot. But where is his foot guards? I thought he had his foot guards up here. Maybe they are hiding in the trees. But we know this is going to be an uphill battle. Definitely an uphill battle. But as you can see, the Chasseurs coming in for the great charge into the 88th. Connaught Rangers. And he doesn't manage to get square off. So we are going to rout that unit. That majestic unit. And all I wanted to do here with the cavalry was get rid of his cannons so that we didn't have to contend with canister shot coming up that hill. And as you can see, my guys down here are in pretty decent shape. These guys have taken more of a battering. But they are just standard fusiliers fighting against foot. We've got some nice chasseur action there in front. And the young guard in this house ready to cover. So we did kind of a three-pronged attack. There are the foot guards. They were hiding in the hills. We decided to charge straight into this cold stream guard before it could form square. But this proves kind of crucial. We do a lot of damage. We get rid of the cannons. But at the same time, the cavalry takes an absolute hammering here. You can see they're down to 34 apiece on these units. And they refuse to run away. But yeah, as you can see, we are bringing these troops back up the hill on this epic assault of this hill. And I was telling these guys to run, but once again, you know, Napoleon sometimes running, is a bit slow when it comes to running your guys. And as you can see, he brought his foot unit in to get rid of my chasseurs over this side, which is a fantastic... And we missed this. I tried to charge my chasseurs into this light foot, and we lost them, unfortunately. And at this point, I was like, damn, my, my cannons are struggling. They are going to get flanked very soon. So we need to bring the 6-inch six, six howitzer out of the way. So we brought it out of the way. But this side is looking good. But as I say, they're very elite troops. Very decent troops. A cold stream guard and a foot guard. So it's going to be an uphill battle. And we're fighting uphill. But as you can see, we've got a pretty decent look up this hill at these guys right now. Yes, this right-hand side is going very well. And at this point, I thought, these guys are done. We can bring them back across to the left to try and defend the left-hand side. And at this point, I was pretty much like, yes, we've probably won this. We've won this already. But no, no, no. Uh, Dave is going to fight back with a fury that hasn't been seen for a while. Fantastic, fantastic fight he's going to put up. We're going to see who wins. <clears throat> I brought these guys across, probably to defend this area here. Just make sure that they didn't bring anyone. But this foot comes back from routing, which is crucial. And this chasseur, unfortunately, got a charge off, but it didn't do too much damage. And while that's happening, we bring our chasseur and the rest of the lines up. We do still have this chasseur, Cheval, ready to go. But he is going to go and retreat back across the map to deal oh, with the cannons. Running, make sure the cannons are all good. So, we've kind of got this side of the map focused up. We've got rid of his elite troops, or we are going to get rid of these elite troops. But, as I say, it's still going to be a tough old battle to contend with. He still has a lot of troops. He still has that foot all the way over there in the corner. You can just see their unit card popping out. Uh, and he's got this foot, these light foot. 
which are going to start doing a very good, decent amount of damage on these guys. And I really don't have the cavalry to contend with them, which is the problem now. I've wasted all my cavalry on this great assault down the, down the hill. He's going to go for a charge here, going into the fusiliers of the line. And I was just praying they get a, a volley off, but they don't seem to want to. So unfortunately, we sink that charge down there. But as you can see, we're getting some very decent, nice shots off. Getting rid of these Coldstream guards. But they do manage to get a few shots off here. He manages to get a volley off, but it kills a lot of his own troops as well. Which is a, a bit of a problem for him. I retreat over here, bringing these troops back around into a more defensive position. But as you can see, he is harassing my old guard with these light foot. And I was oh, microing all running, the way sir. up this hill. So unfortunately... We had a bit of an issue. Um, you know, with this bat being so spread out, I had to micro both sides. And we could get some good shots off on this light foot. But they're just going to keep retreating and harassing all my troops. Which is unfortunate for us because this old guard is a beast in line battles. But fighting these guys is not what it's designed for. They are supposed to defeat them in, you know... In battle as well um, in line battle as well but they're just going to keep retreating and keep taking pot shots at us while we are attacking them so we managed to route the foot guards but this cold uh, where's the cold stream guard but this cold stream guard he, he does a brilliant move here and brings the cold stream guards into this house with the young guard where of course it's going to win out because it has more numbers anyway and he's got the foot in there so we're just going to retreat our fusiliers of the line Bring them back across this way to where uh, the majority of our forces are concentrated. Now we have the chasseurs to try and uh, to try and skirmish with these guys. As I say, it's a tough old do fighting chasseurs, fighting lasso, light foot, just with your line infantry. Because they get picked off. Look at this old guard, already down to 113 men. Really, really annoying. Would have liked these old guard to stay in the fight a little bit longer. Um, and have a bit more troops for later on. But I did bank on them being able to hold this side. And that was really, really the issue there. Uh, while we defeated his elite troops up here. So we pretty much have cleaned up this battlefield. And you can see the lines of infantry as we moved up. Uh, moved up the hill. So we cleaned off his right side. But he still does have some decent amount of troops down here. Coldstream guards, the foot. Coldstream guards, 114. And as you can see, my young guard is struggling in there. And foot guards have come back from routing. And that's going to prove crucial because those troops are very, very good. Over here, I wanted to bring my old guard up and attack this light foot again. Stop them harassing our troops because it was getting quite annoying. <laughs> but I may have overextended that line. That was the problem. And on top of this, we've got some of the Chasseur Acheval coming back. These guys on 16 came back from routing, which is great. But as you can see, he has brought his King's German Legion light foot. And a lot of his troops came back from routing this whole game. Like a lot of the troops come back from routing in Napoleon. So you've always got to be wary. Once one routes, you know, unless you run them down, they will forever rout. The weird thing here is like, why aren't these guys shooting? So I had to get them into a better position there. But he is destroying my chasseurs there. The old guard are in a very, very weak situation here. As you can see, we've rearranged the six inch howitzers. And I was trying to shoot this foot guards to stop it, stop it attacking us. As you can see, the chasseurs are almost in position. Ready, boys. Oof, look at that shot. Come on, boys. Our men are running, sir. The foot guards. Yes, yes, and he retreats his foot guards there, knowing that they're probably going to rout if they carry on. So what we do now is we target down this building here to try and stop him uh, from reinforcing that too much. I don't want him to, to win the battle by fighting all through buildings. So luckily we still have artillery to focus down those buildings. The old guard has retreated as well, came back. And at this point, I'm feeling confident, but it is relatively even and he has... Um, some decent amount of cavalry left. These light dragoons as well as the lifeguards in there. Probably hiding in the trees. And he's got a load of light foot. 
which is really strong. And you can tell, like, it looks like he hasn't got that many troops. But he's got a unit of foot in this building. And he's got three units in here as well. Which, that's about 100 troops. Plus another 100 of the Coldstream Guards, which is a very, very decent troop. So, we wanted to get rid of this building as quick as we could. So, up here we push forward. Come on, boys! Trying to take the town back from them and move through the town onto the rest of his army. And these guys, these guys, 69 of them, have seen a lot of fighting this battle. Done very well. But as you can see, they're very tired. And those shots doing huge damage to this King's German Legion. I'm surprised they've not routed yet, to be honest. As you can see, bringing the Fusiliers up here. Bringing these Fusiliers up to try and fight them. And at this point, I really wanted to get rid of this Lightfoot. Because I knew how damaging it could be. Especially without with my lack of cavalry. But, as you can see, what he does is he manages to get this Lightfoot here and this Lightfoot here. To start firing upon the troops. And I had to retreat them. It was basically all or nothing. And I lost oh, both of my cavalry side. units here. Which was an absolute disaster. Because at that point I had no cavalry left. And at this point I was tired of messing around. He has abandoned this building. Seeing as it was getting shot down. And I wanted to destroy this light foot. But I had so little light infantry. And it's all over on the right hand side. Uh, and what I probably should have done here is wait. Wait for that light infantry to come over this way and engage with these guys before then adv advancing with my foot guards, my old guard and my young guard. And as you can see, he's just taking pot shots. He's just popping off these old guard for fun and I'm not microing that well at all. I needed to manage that situation a little bit better. So at this point, we wanted to go through the town, assault him, take out the rest of these troops. Yeah, as you can see, he's microing his light foot very well, keeping me on my toes and doing huge damage to all my troops without me really being able to respond. So that was a big mistake of mine. I should have sat back and waited on this side and probably pushed on this side where they don't have light foot. Um, but I decided to push all together. Oof, that was a decent shot. And his lifeguards are going to run because they've been shot by a cannon. And of course, he still does have this unit back here that he hasn't brought into action yet. But look at this on the map. The line's going at it across this town. We've gone all the way up this hill, back round, and we're now fighting back up on the left-hand side, which is fantastic. And as you can see... We are just out of range still, so I've been microing these guys very poorly, not getting any decent, decent shots off, and I really needed to do some damage to this light foot. It just was killing me, and I had no cavalry to answer, to answer it. So these Fusiliers are going to take some pot shots at these guys, and this old guard's going to come up. It's obviously going to get shot, but I thought they would shoot, and we're underneath the hill, so we should be decent. So bring it up. And they are old guards. So they are one of the best units in the game. All the while, the fight still rages in the town. The chasseurs are up. Ready to fire at the Coldstream guards. This fusilier is up. Firing at the building. I really just wanted to get him to come out of this building with my artillery fire. But it didn't really work too well. And up here, we decided to put some chasseurs back in this building. But as you can see, he's bringing his light dragoons and general staff around. Most likely to get rid of my artillery. And I saw that. But unfortunately because I wasted all my cavalry. I really didn't have much um, running, much sir. answer to this at this point. Unless I had some infantry back here. And I just let the cannons go. I couldn't really do anything else. That was all I could do. And that's going to prove crucial. And unfortunately that's going to mean there's cavalry behind my lines. Which is never something that you want to happen. You can see this light foot, which has already broken once, is probably going to come back from routing later. But yes, we're doing well, pushing up this hill. Hopefully going to break this light foot eventually, because it's been an absolute nuisance. And this young guard firing on the right hand side. And as you can see, he takes out my artillery there. 
These Coldstream Guards are proving a big nuisance in the middle. Breaking this uh, breaking this Chasseur. But I do have this decent unit of Fusiliers of the line ready to go if need be. I do have my Chasseur and Fusiliers of the line over here. I just, it's so messy over here that it's so hard to get your infantry to fire. You need to come out of the city first uh, for them to fire in. And they would, did not have brilliant morale at this point. Here the Fusiliers of the line go. I could see that he had bad morale. So I wanted to charge him, make sure that those guys broke. But he managed to get that volley off straight away. Which really, really affects the morale of my troops. If he hadn't have got that volley off, I'm sure we would have done a lot better. I bring my Martial Salt through the middle to try and deal with this light foot. I probably should have just traded shots with this foot and got the Young Guard to come around. But I do get the Young Guard eventually to come around. This battle is all over the place, man. It is brilliant. Here comes the great charge of the Fusiliers of the line into this building. I knew if I could take this building, we would be good. We had a good anchor point there for us to move around. But as you can see, my troops are quite spread out and quite disparate right now. They're not in a very decent situation. But yeah, here's his six pound of horse artillery and this light foot, which has come back from routing again. Which is proving very hard to manage without cavalry. You need to make sure these guys get shattered rather than just broken if you don't want them to come back from routing. But at this point, it looks like we've won this side as well. So we're going to come around back into the town and try and deal with all these guys. And at this point, he's in full retreat, retreating back to this hill. But as you can see, this foot as well came back from routing. Everyone is coming back from routing on his on his team which is unbelievable it's so, it was so annoying during the battle but as you can see we have shattered those foot guards over here so that's good we just have this one cold stream guard left to deal with over here as you can see he's using his cavalry to decent effect but he's bringing his foot his foot into this to this battle over here in the uh, in the building we are fighting for our lives in the building, guys. Look at them. Fighting for our lives in the building. Trying to push them back. Trying to make some headway. That was those chasseurs, I believe, getting killed. But, as you can see, stick the old guard in. They are going to do a serious job on these guys. We have a young guard unit that's pretty healthy back here as well, which is good for us. And I got these chasseurs in here to shoot at the Coldstream Guards. But this is just going to become a massive melee mess. And you've got to remember, he still has a unit of foot over here that is full. That is completely full. Here are the Coldstream Guards getting shot down by our Fusiliers. And I was hoping we could break them because they are such a strong unit. They inspire, inspire nearby troops. Um... So he's going to try and fire into the building. Not that it really makes that much difference. But I wanted to bring my young guard over here. Get them in square. Make sure that we could kill his general. But as you can see, Marshal Salt gets caught out. But I wanted to run him away. But I believe he gets killed here, which is unfortunate. Marshal Salt dead on the grass. But no, it doesn't look like he does actually get killed there. But yeah, the British are doing well in this building now. They have taken it over with that foot unit. And these Coldstream Guards, although small, they are mighty. And they are decently attacking our Young Guard who are not firing back at them. So that was a really, really tough thing to deal with. So we wanted to bring these Fusiliers of the line up behind them and shoot them as much as we could. Our men are running, sir. But you can see that Young Guard, I believe it was the Old Guard. The Old Guard ran at this point, which was very unfortunate. There they are. And when the Old Guard run... You know the writing's on the wall, guys, like Waterloo. And the problem is here, I had to keep these guys in square because of this cavalry back here. But he cleverly sticks his Coldstream guards into the building rather, uh, rather than leave them out there to get shot. So, you know, moving my Fusiliers up here didn't actually do anything too decent. We've got the Chasseurs left, ready to fight these light foot. But as you can see, his lifeguards come back as well. So he actually has more troops than us now by quite a considerable amount. 
We're bringing the young guard round. Hopefully we manage to get them in square. Do we manage to get them in square? No. So that was another big error, big micro error on my part. And I must have been, yeah, I was moving the chasseurs. So this is really where the battle turns. This charge into that young guard. If I managed to get them in square, it would have been a completely different story, most likely. But with that, we do kill their general. And I was thinking, these guys might rout then. But no, it's Coldstream guards. They are not going to rout. And on top of that, I was so panicked over here that uh, I missed this chasseur, the charge into the chasseur by these lifeguards. Not that we could put the chasseur in square. Um, but you can see Marshal Sult gets in the action, but he as well dies. And unfortunately, that is a big problem for us. But it's surprising his general staff didn't rout. He seemed to have really good morale through this whole battle. And it's only got a general staff, not Marshal Sult. But yeah, as you can see, guys, that is the death knell of the battle. And all we have is this one Fusilier of the line left. But what an epic battle, guys. What an absolutely epic battle. Fighting on all fronts. Pushing up this hill. Taking out their enemy up there. And returning down here to fight up here. Fighting up this hill again. So the, the battle of two hills, I guess you could call it. The battle of a town and two hills. Uh, and as you can see, he still has this foot unit left. So soundly beaten I was. But it could have changed. It could have changed. I could have done th some things a lot better. Not wasting the cavalry over here would have been a good one. Not trying to chase his light foot and using the actual light foot over here where they're better used. Rather than in a town where they're not really that useful. Um, obviously getting these guys in square would have been a big thing. Killing his general. Yeah, as you can see, down to the last unit. What an epic battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, comment down below what you thought of the battle with these beautiful, beautiful uh, Light Dragoons over here. I love Napoleon, man. Napoleon Online is amazing. Look at these lifeguards. Ready to go. A lot of their units have died today. A lot of men have died today. A horrendous amount of men have died today. And he still has this guy. So I don't know whether this was a tactic by him. To just have a unit left for the closing stages of a battle. Or whether it was literally just... Um, forgot about them. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him the credit where it's due and say that it was a tactic. But he didn't even need to use them. And not finishing off these Coldstream Guards proved pretty decisive in the end if they're cold stream guards if we'd have chased them down and shattered them when they broke then we probably would have won the battle but no the cold stream guards live on with literally only 36 of their troops where are even my french troops in here oh they're, they're in the corner getting stabbed look at this pile of bodies upon the floor there horrendous oh no been brutal they have pushed them back look at the piles of dead bodies in there they're literally just standing on a carpet of dead bodies oh jesus that is horrendous no we're gonna fight on to the very end this fusiliers of the line very brave and strong unit very brave and strong unit but yes guys do check out my other online battles i've got a few more I've got the Pyramid Blitz up already. I've got the Dogfight at Linyi. That is a great one. You want to check that out. That also came down to the very, very end. And then also, How Not to Divide and Conquer, where I make a very big error when it comes to Divide and Conquer. But as you can see, nearly equal kills, about 100 difference. But he just had a few more troops and used them more effectively at the end. I'd say I won the early start of the battle. Um, and I got the upper hand. But then after that, I got kind of sloppy. And he got very good. And he used his troops very effectively. And I really didn't have a counter to those. So thank you guys for watching. Please do like. If we could get up to 20 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video.